Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the webcam is not showing up in Device Manager on your Windows computer. So this could be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving it. So, we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, and then you want to select the Settings gear icon on the left side, wherever you hover over it. It should say Settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the privacy tile, so you might have to scroll down to see it. And then on the left side, underneath app permissions, you want to go select camera. And if it says allow apps to access your camera, and it's currently toggled to the off position, you want to go toggle to the on position. So just click inside the oval to turn it on. And where it says camera access for the device is on, you can select the change button here. Again, it'll just open up the same screen down here, so make sure camera access for the device is on, as well as allowing apps to access your camera, so you're going to have to check both of those settings there. And once that's done, hopefully this should have been able to resolve the problem. And if we were to close out of here, type in Device Manager, and relaunch that, and then we were to search for hardware changes, it should appear here at that point. I don't have a camera hooked up, that's why it's not showing up in my list but that just gives you an option there. Another thing you can also try here would be to go onto the manufacturer's website, so there will likely be an app with software. So you just would go on the manufacturer's site and download the app software if it didn't come with some sort of installation media in the package. Another thing you can do is actually manually install the driver or pro. Another thing is you can manually install a camera through Device Manager. Not guaranteed to work, but something you could try here. So what you want to do here is just go ahead and select the top drop down option here. So just you have to click on one of these at least. And then select the action tab. And then select add legacy hardware. It, this will not be an option if you don't click on one of these options by the way. So you have to click on something in order for that option to be available. Otherwise you click on the action tab and nothing will be on the drop down except for some help article which we really don't want. So anyway welcome to the add hardware wizard. I'm going to go ahead and select next here. We're going to select install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Go ahead and select next. Select cameras and then select next again. Now at this point you would go ahead and if you had a disk or some kind of external media you would type it in here and you direct the installer files to this prompt here. And you would just go ahead and select next. But again, we don't have that in our case, but that's just kind of giving you guys another potential workaround there. So again, you really probably need to go online and look up their driver software in order to have manufacturer compatibility. So just giving you guys another option there to explore. So hopefully one of the methods I went through in today's tutorial should be able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.